heavy and deep tonight on your unhappy birthday. <laughs> All right, today I'm checking out the Smiths. I'm listening to the song Unhappy Birthday. Let's get into it. I've come to wish you an unhappy birthday. I've come to wish you an unhappy birthday. Cause you're evil and you lie. And if you should die. Slightly sad, but I won't cry. Loved and lost, and some may say, when usually it's nothing, surely you're happy you should be this way. I say no, I'm gonna kill my dog. <laughs> May the line sag, the line sag heavy and deep tonight. I've come to wish you an unhappy birthday. I've come to wish you an unhappy birthday. Cause you're evil and you lie. And if you should die, I may feel slightly sad, but I won't cry. I need to pause it. I need to pause it, but I'm too into the lyrics and I want more. You know what I'm saying? I want more lyrics, more, more, more to try and unravel this whole thing and fill it out. Every time I get more lyrics, I feel I'm peeling back another layer of the onion and whatnot. The part that's clear is he's wishing somebody an unhappy birthday because they're evil. They suck as a human being. But then when he goes on to loved and lost, is this an ex-lover? Or is this just some big evil famous person, maybe politician or something? I know he's got beef with certain politicians and things. It could be that, it could be anything. When we get to the part about uh, unaliving your dog and like that, I know it's not, it's probably not literal stuff because he's an animal lover, right? So he's definitely not offing his dog. But it's like, how do you, on first listen, figure this stuff out? You know what I'm saying? How, how do I figure out what this is? Now, I, I don't know. It, it's. Oh, it's artsy, but dang. Okay, I'm thinking the loved and lost thing. We gotta be talking about an ex-lover, right? Gotta be. Probably did something crazy to him. Loved and lost And some may say When usually it's nothing Surely you're happy It should be this way I said no and then I shut myself So drink, drink, drink and be ill tonight From the one you left behind From the one you left behind From the one you left behind See, this one's very mellowed out and vibey. I feel like the music, the vocals, everything is that same, like, mellow vibe. I'm trying to go to Genius to see if they have annotations. They do. They do have annotations. We don't have to play the guessing game today. Hold up. Unhappy Birthday is predictably bold and miserable song with lots of humor. Okay. The end of, if I, if, and if you should die, I may feel slightly sad, but I won't cry. I mean, that do we need annotation for that? Morrissey could not really care for this person, even if they were wiped off the face of the planet. Their passing would not affect him very deeply. Right, right, yeah, I mean, that's pretty self-explanatory. Now, okay, the loved and lost, and some may say, when usually it's nothing, surely you're happy, it should be this way. The narrator asks, what's the point of getting worked up over someone who never loved you in the first place? Okay, so we're talking ex-lover. Some would have him believe that to love and lose is better than having nothing at all. 
Okay, yeah, 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 gotta be excellent lover. So, okay, I'm in there. I'm in there. Now, this killed my dog. This is what I really wanted an annotation for. And what is, what is this? Morrissey uses a hyperbolic statement here to show that he's not convinced that whatever had wronged him doesn't matter. I say, no, I'm gonna kill my dog. And may the line sag. May the line sag heavy and deep tonight. We celebrate our birthdays and we get older with each year. The lines are our wrinkles. Morrissey is talking about the wrinkles on this person's face. <laughs> As you get older, you get more lines, and the face starts to sag. That is such a, that's like a funny little insult. You made the line sag heavy and deep tonight on your unhappy birthday. <laughs> I mean, that's ridiculous. You gotta really hate someone to come up with some kind of insult like this. I still don't understand the no, I'm gonna kill my dog part, even after reading the annotation. I don't know what I'm missing, but I guess they said it's a hyperbolic statement to show that he's not convinced that whatever had wronged him doesn't matter. You know, I, I'm not clicking that one. But uh, okay, well I think that pretty much covers the meaning of the song. Still, I don't have clarity on this Kill My Dog thing, but the line sag, I'm glad I looked that up. Cause that wasn't even a line that uh, stuck out to me. You mean it didn't stick out, it made the line sag heavy and deep tonight. I don't know and what this man is talking about. But then after reading that, after reading that, that was savage. That was the best line of the whole thing. Those are bars. That was cold. I don't know. Tell me, man, what do you know? What do you know? Me and my boys on the road. Where to go? She told me, boy, you to go. Like, I don't know.